Maybe I'm not the typical founder or CEO um, in this industry, but so what, you know? This is me and this is the company and this is how I want to do it. And I started operating like this pretty much from the beginning. Adi Tatarko is the CEO and co-founder of the home design site House and is one of the few female founders to have broken the unicorn barrier. She launched the company in 2009 and turned what was originally a side project into a multi-billion dollar business. I recently sat down with Adi to discuss her untraditional career path and the power of living by your own standards. I was fascinated because you started this business still while you and your husband were in your quote unquote day jobs. Uh, and you nurtured the company for several years this way before you decided to strike out on your own. What inspired you to, to wait and was it hard to take the plunge? I cannot say that I grew up with this dream or, or I was planning to, to be in that spot. I think that when all this happened, I was just super passionate about it because I saw the response and I saw how, how much impact we're having with this side project and we were not getting into it in order to get something out of it. It was a journey and we were already part of that journey. So at the end, when I had to answer myself and be honest with myself, how do I feel about it? I said, I don't want to stop doing this because I really like it. I felt like a child in a toy store in a way, like every day was so magnificent in terms of what I was surrounded by and these pictures, these professionals, these homeowners, this growing interest and I was really happy doing it. Talk about the fact that that you don't have to necessarily fit a typical mold of what, what someone or a career path looks like. Did you not see yourself as an entrepreneur? I will say that Alon, my husband, was much more clear in terms of his intent in life, being in tech and thinking, I'm gonna create my own startup. I didn't think about it in these terms. I just thought, I need to create life where it's not gonna be too crazy and, and I'm gonna work hard and enjoy every day but I also want to have a family and I need to create something that is possible to consume. So what I saw is guys working many hours around the clock, your personal life, you know, this is not part of the equation here. And to me, this is not possible. My kids are here and they're not going to go anywhere and I'm their mom and I'm not going to abandon my role as their mom. So if you combine your passions and you find the right way to devote your time to each one of them, then it will make sense to you. Were you uh, hard on yourself? Did you, were you, were you very, holding yourself very. to a standard? I had an opportunity to talk to um, remarkable people over the years that build remarkable careers in the tech industry and other industries. And I always heard how much they regret not spending enough time with their kids when they grew up, not spending enough time with the families. I felt like no matter what, I can be in that place. Whether you admit it or not, it's not sustainable to neglect something that is truly important to you in your life for such a long time without having that breaking moment where you say, I can't do it anymore. And I didn't want to be in that place, nor carry these regrets till the rest of my life. So at least I know that on that front, I'm, it's not perfect but I'm doing the best I can. You've also given the advice to, to founders, don't enter to exit. Talk a little bit about that, especially in the context of an environment now where there is so much venture funding. You need to be in it for the right reason. And the right reason cannot be, I found an opportunity to create something that somebody else will wanna buy from me or I, could, I can make a lot of money out of it. The chances are that, you know, this is exactly what's gonna happen are, look, you know, not very high. So you need to choose something that you enter to because you're truly passionate about what you do and you're gonna enjoy every single moment of that journey. Every single day you're gonna get up in the morning, you're not gonna look forward to cross it over and move to the next one until an exit or something will happen. You're gonna look forward because you're doing something meaningful that you love. And I better love this every single day. Otherwise, why am I doing it? I'm not crazy. And the answer was yes, I'm doing it because I love it.